Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Heather. Before I get started, don't forget to hit subscribe. You gotta click subscribe, guys, and click the tiny little bell button down below after you click subscribe and hit all. Because if you don't, again, you're gonna miss, you're not gonna get any notifications, and you're gonna miss my giveaways, my pop up giveaways, my informational videos, me being annoying, driving you nuts. You're gonna miss all the bits. So, <laughs> before, you, before anything, I decided to do something different. Um, every week I'm going to upload a video of the facts of the week um, because there's so many things that people don't know, especially when you're new with this journey, you're not really, um, you're, you're just brand spanking new. You know as much as you know about, say, um, the dirt. <laughs> Besides, we do know it's nutritional, but there's not much you know. And I want to do a video to enlighten people on what dentures, implants, autoimmune, everything, um, each week to tell you something different that you might not have known. So, um, fact of the day, of the week, I shall say, um, for dentures is that if you're missing teeth, it actually helps your speech. And this is a true story because, okay, I told you guys in the beginning of my process, um, I had all my teeth. And then, you know, the massive infection happened. They were taking one tooth at a time. Well, as they were taking one tooth at a time, all of a sudden my speech got really bad. I had a lisp. Um, I couldn't speak properly at all. I, it was like a hot mess because I was missing teeth all over for them to try to figure out how the frick to get this to stop. Um, once I got my dentures in, I never had a speech problem. It actually corrected my speech. And my dentist was freaking amazed. But not only that, I have scleroderma. And scleroderma has tightened up my jaw and my mouth. And with dentures, it gives you the mouth setting you're supposed to have. Um, it gives you the wideness that you're supposed to have room for your tongue. And I was losing that through the years because of scleroderma as well. So when I got my dentures in, I had no speaking problem. As I'm talking to you guys right now, is exactly how I was when I first got my medians. And my, denture, uh, my dentist was like, you know, Heather, I never heard somebody with the best speech in the world as I am hearing you right now. He goes, I've seen too many people my, most of my career um, seeing people have to learn to talk all over again because it is process. Everybody is different. So he kept trying to make me say Mississippi. And he was like, this is so cool. He goes, I've never seen like somebody with such great speech. He goes, you don't have any, any kind of problem whatsoever. I was like, no, you actually fixed my speech. And, um, it was amazing. It was a really good feeling. So there are very much pros to getting this process done. Um, people always worried about, you know, what's it going to cause me to have a speech problem? Half the time, yes. Half the time, no. I met people with not a speech problem at all. I met people with very little speech problem. And then I met people with a massive amount of speech problem. The fact is, if you read to yourself 30 minutes a day out loud, not to yourself because that defeats the purpose of learning to speak with dentures, but out loud, um, you know, it gets better every day with your speaking. And within a couple of weeks, you're good or very close to good. Um, I also was told and, and tried this myself. Um, because when I had a soft reline done, I noticed my speech was weird. So you learn things as you go, but singing works better than actually reading out loud. Why? Because singing helps you emphasize and pronounce words better and it lasts longer and it works the muscles through your entire mouth. And that's what you're trying to do. You also need your, you know, mouth muscles to get used to keeping your denture in if you're not using adhesive and it trains you know your mouth so it builds your muscles and all that so that's an actual fact for anybody that didn't know that so every week i'm gonna let you guys know a fact of the week always like i could probably still keep going um <laughs> but i don't want to cram it all in one video but dentures are very there's pros and there's cons depends on what category you're talking about but as far as making your life better and giving you your smile back I gotta say, out of all the things I've seen, people's confidence coming back, sorry I'm outside, but people's confidence coming back is the most extraordinary thing to experience. Because when I was going through all this for six months, I had teeth missing, I mean, my confidence went to shit. And when I got my dentures, I got my confidence back. And I'm able to smile, I'm able to do videos for you guys, I'm able to do all that. I mean, I regret not thinking about filming my journey. I never thought of it. I don't know why, but I mean, I'm only six months in. I still got a whole lot of journey to do, but it's amazing to see people 
and their faces the first time they look at themselves wearing dentures. And that right there is worth the process. If you want to be able to smile with your friends and family again, or your kids or anyone, and not have to worry about your teeth or even just talking like I am right now and my teeth are showing and yeah, you know, think about just whatever confidence in the world, that's worth going through this. It's worth the process. It's worth the extraction, stress, E-Day. It's worth, you know, learning to eat again. It's, it's worth it. And the trouble you go through for the first couple months doesn't last long, guys. And a lot of people think it's a lifetime of struggle. It's not. It's not. And a positive attitude is everything. I've seen so many people that are negative going in and they automatically feel defeated. They automatically actually get a worse experience out of it because that's what they're causing. If you take it one day at a time and you think every day, I always tell people, take a positive out of the day and look at yourself in the mirror, smile, because that right there is what you're working for. You keep that positive attitude. If you got to look at my videos, save my videos, do what you got to do. Sorry, there's a track. <laughs> or email me, guys. I give you my email all the time. Email me. And if you need some positivity, I'm a gal. I am your gal. Oh, by the way, I absolutely love sharks. I do. I was actually born in Long Island and Amityville. I lived there um, at one point. So I'm a huge shark person. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I also have a shark tattoo. Sorry, I'm getting off topic, but too bad. Let's see. Hold on. I got sharks swimming around my ankle. Uh, I'm a huge shark person. But every week I'm going to let you guys know a fact. So if you're down and out and you say, oh, have a similar fact of the week. All right, because I feel like shit right now. Um, I need to go check out her stuff to give me reasons why I'm doing this. And you're doing what's best for your health. You're doing what's beneficial to you. Screw everyone else. There are many facts to wearing dentures and getting your teeth fixed. Not only that is if you have bad infections, dude, you could die from that. I almost died from that, guys. I literally almost died from that. Genuinely almost died. And I'm going to tell you, if you can't get immediate dentures, you're fine. Because right now there's a freaking pandemic going on. You have to wear a mask. So ain't nobody going to see. So um, I will do be doing a weekly. Um, the next fact video will be um, the facts on not getting immediate dentures. The pros and cons. And facts about the pros and cons to um, immediate dentures. So stay tuned for that, guys. I love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. And always keep your head up because you're doing this for you. I love you guys. Stay safe. God bless.